Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making a year-round wreath using Dollar Tree Evergreen Holiday Wreath Base. I'm absolutely in love with this wreath and I hope you love it as much as I do. Let's get started. For today's wreath, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree Evergreen wreath. And yes, this one's a little sparse, but for what we need, it's going to do perfect. The really cool part about using something like this is if you can see the back, the wiring that they make this wreath with is really, really flexible. If I wanted to make a square wreath, I can definitely just bend a corner and you saw how easy that was. Let me undo that. Or if you wanted to make an oval wreath, just bring it in and you got a beautiful oval wreath. The possibilities are really endless with this one as far as what shape you want. For deco mesh, I'm going to be using this beautiful burlap deco mesh. It does have little white in it, but it's so pretty. I got this at Joanne Fabrics. Any burlap deco mesh you have on hand will do if you're going to do something really similar to this. When using burlap deco mesh, always, always look at the length because they're more expensive than the regular deco mesh, and it usually does not come in the 10 yards that we're used to. So this one's nine and a half inches, so almost 10 inches, and it's nine 19 feet. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. So 19 feet is 228 inches. Divide that by eight, you're going to get 28.5 inches. So I'm going to be cutting this deco mesh into 28 inch uh, little strips. The reason I always do the math when it comes to these is because you want to know how many uh, loops you're going to have and what's the appropriate amount to cut. And especially if you're going to use one, if you're going to have the 10 yards and you're gonna have left over, then it's not a big deal. But if you have one roll of something, you wanna make sure it lasts, then yeah, do the little math, just convert it, Google it. It's really easy. Since my board is 24 inches and I have half an inch on here, I'm going to add three and a half inches on my ruler. And I'm just going to set that right underneath my mat. That's how I do it. That way I have the 28 inches that I need. Because of the white fabric in this burlap, you would either need to use a heat gun or scissors. And I'm going for my scissors because I don't have a vented area in my office right now. So I'm going to do that. And as I said, if you're using the heating tool, make sure you're in a vented area because you're basically breathing in that plastic that the deco mesh is made out of. I have all eight strips ready to go. And what I'm going to do is, well, first take this off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and seven, eight. Meaning, since we don't have an exact kind of location, I'm just going to make it easy on myself. As far as my strips, I'm just going to start on one side and I tend to fold just in the beginning. We're not even rolling anything. Just give it a fold and off you go, just gathering it straight in the center. And then come in, open two up, and then have one go one way, the other the other way, and I'm just going to wrap it around our wreath right there. There you go. Next one's gonna go complete opposite on this side. Twist it and bend it back. Now that I have my initial four, I'm just going to do the same thing with the rest of these and just go in between each of the four. Look at this gorgeous wreath. You can hardly see the greenery, but if it's peeking out here and there, not a big deal at all. Next, I'm going to grab four green pipe cleaners, and these are 12 inches, and I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to use them to make little bundles to put in the center of each of the curls. 
the main ribbon I'm going to be using for my bundles is going to be this one. It's black with some ivory stripes. And as you can see, it has little sparkles in it. But because of the ivory and this vintagey look, you can definitely get away with using this for a farmhouse wreath. The length of the ribbon will depend on you, depending on how far you want it to stick up. I decided to make mine 9 inches. And so I'm just going to go back and forth. Since we have eight of the burlap ruffles, I'm going to make 16 of these little strips. I have all 16 pieces of ribbon cut into nine inch strips. And all I'm going to do is just fold the ends right here and make little dovetails. I'm going to finish this off in a second, but until then, I'm going to grab some more holiday stuff. These are berry garlands, and you can get these year-round in any uh, craft store. So I'm going to grab these, and they're 9 feet long. And I'm going to make strips of about 8 to 9 inches using wire cutters to cut this. I'm just going to fold the ends just like that. Let me measure about eight to nine inches the reason i say eight to nine is for example right here you don't want to cut it right at the berry you want to cut it in the middle so this one's going to be more of a nine inch thing and then right here this tip i'm going to go ahead and just fold it back it's not that hard to do we're going to put them together along with our striped ribbon and then of course both ends we're going to bend this is going to prevent fraying and these berries are going to stay in place I got everything to go to make my bundles and then for the finishing touch in the center I'm going to put a little cotton bud or cotton pods I guess. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. Here's some big ones. They come in a pack three or four depending on how big they are. Since I only had one pack of these I wanted them to look more um, symmetrical I guess because they these do kind of look a little different here. They have four little cotton uh, swabs in this one, and then this one just has a big old cotton swab in that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little pick. If you can't find the Dollar Tree one, I'll insert a link to the picks that I got. These were originally $2.99, and I got these at Joann's, but I got them on, I believe, 80% off or something like that. So I'm going to take them apart here. Taking these apart is harder than it looks, which means these are really good quality. They all come with little wires, so I'm going to undo the wire here so I can get a longer wire. And I'm going to twist this one right here, and then these two together right here. And then this way we can put it around our little centerpiece this way. I'm going to start by bringing two of my ribbon, just crisscrossing them. And then with these, we're going to just lay them just like that not a big deal make sure berries are not in that center bring this together with our pipe cleaner kind of move it up two beautiful twists in the back and then we're going to wrap it around our first bundle here twist in place then we're going to grab our cotton pod put that in the center and then twist that in place and i have my first little bundle the ribbon we're just going to curl out just like that but the berries we're going to kind of push them up towards the center that way they're going to be noticeable a little bit more and especially when you're looking up close you can see the berries it is really pretty so i'm going to go ahead and finish off doing all the bundles going all the way around Before we get to the centerpiece, I just want to show you how I did the ribbon because we're going in a little X right here. So if I have my little X going this way right here, then this one is going to go this way where it's kind of interlocking and so on and so forth. You can see the same thing here where it's going like this and then this one is turned sideways like this. And then, of course, this one is like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and straighten all of that out and keep on going all the way around. But before I do that, let's work on the centerpiece. I'm going to use this beautiful Dollar Tree sign. It says Home Sweet Home. And then I'm going to grab some wire that's black, just like my sign here. 
and I'm going to cut four strings and I'm just being generous and eyeing how long I want these to be. And by the way, this is a 26 gauge wire. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my wires and I'm going to tie them on here. And I'm just going to go right around, tie it in the back, give it a few twists here. And then right here on that center bar. And you know what, I think I want one at the bottom so I'm going to cut another one. From a distance, these are going to be pretty much unnoticeable. I'm going to gather them, put them right in the center of the wreath here, and then start attaching them to the sides of the wreath. And this bottom one is going to be nice because it's just going to stabilize it in place. And I'm just going to attach it right here to the bottom. I'm just doing a few twists around, and then I'm just twisting it around the wire itself. After I have it in place, I'm just going to pull up my ribbon right here just to kind of work it in. And that's it, our wreath is done. Very simple, very easy. And I love the fact that this wreath is an everyday wreath. You can have it in your home in a specific spot the whole year round. And this makes for such a perfect gift. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now here's a close up.